Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around June 4th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Uh, for every reading that you watch, the timing is fluid. And this reading is not sign specific, which means that it may or may not be for you. Uh, a lot of times these can resonate today, tomorrow, or next week, or they tend to be either right on the day, the next day that I do it, you know, I do it today, it will resonate tomorrow, or a couple days out. That's the way it usually is for me. I put your example in the comment below for the people reading, if you would, you know, when these readings resonate with you. I had a question from one of my viewers, how do these daily vibes work? If you could uh, let this person know, that would be great in the comments. Anyhow. Um, so what do we have for a message today? This is my second one. I did one already, but it went over 30 minutes and, uh, I think it was for my own personal situation, so I'm not going to share it. But what I got from it was, uh, we, it's all about financial stability. So somebody's really focused on, you know, finding something permanent that, you know, where they will be permanently financially stable and secure and being taken care of. I mean, isn't that what we all want? But in all reality, it's all about uh, love because the Empress was right here. So it's about unconditional love. But I think we have an, a person that is looking for the, the financial stability rather than the love. But, uh, you know, anyway, let's see what we got here. So what do we have for around the fourth? But then again, that might have been my own personal story. <laughs> Um, eight of swords reversed. Now this is an obstacle being removed. There's some sort of lie. Somebody has been lying to themselves, staying in a situation that was comfortable, but it wasn't comfortable. Okay. That's not very comfortable. May have been waiting for somebody to come to the rescue, to rescue them when they really needed to rescue themselves. This is a breaking free from that prison, whether it's prison or mental prison or mental conflict. An obstacle being removed that makes... This is freedom. Freedom from a situation. Um, stepping outside of a comfort zone. Um, stepping over that barrier. Taking the blindfold off and moving forward. So somebody is moving forward. Breaking free from a situation that was holding them back. Letting go of emptiness. Five of wands reversed. So finding a solution. We have an individual who doesn't want to play games anymore. They've been in a situation that felt like prison. Or maybe it was prison. But they were meant. there was a lot of mental turmoil. There was conflict. There was... Um, it was comfortable, but it wasn't happy. There's a lot of conflict, a lot of fighting in this situation. A lot of bickering, a lot of pettiness, a lot of petty behavior. A need to constantly prove, prove themselves. But this is the end of conflict. Somebody's exhausted. It's been dark. It's been gray. There's been no, no light, no, no happiness for a while. So this is the end of a conflict. It's the end of a troublesome situation. Now if you think about the Seven of Swords, before the Eight of Swords, there may have been a betrayal. There may have been some cheating. There may have been some deception, some lies, definitely some lies. But somebody is stepping out of a situation that was based on a lie. But they were, they were um, trying to prove a point, perhaps by staying there, or it was just very comfortable. You know, sometimes people stay in situations that are comfortable but aren't very fulfilling, which is the truth. Eight of Wands. Now, this is uh, triumphant news, good news arriving. Very, very fast, moving in a new direction very quickly. This is the end of conflict, moving forward very fast. Messages with other people. taking action, excited for the future. There's been some sort of change. We have an individual that is taking action right now. 
They are to break free from something that was causing them a lot of mental conflict and causing them mental turmoil. And uh, they were choosing not to see it or choosing to ignore it. Maybe they wanted to avoid conflict, right? But now it's like they found some sort of passion or something. It's like they just want, they just want to move forward now. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to be confined to this situation. Oh, look at that. Four of Swords. Yeah, it's time to live again. Definitely exhausted and fed up. We have an individual that is absolutely fed up with the conflict. They're fed up with playing games. They're done playing games. They are really, really ready to move forward. It's like they got this new vision and they're excited for the future. It's like, oh, they're just done. They got this new discovery. That's what they have. They have a new discovery. There's definitely a good news coming in or uh, messages coming in from somebody that is uh, done just laying there, letting them, letting their lives pass away in this dark situation. It's like, I don't want to be in this dark situation anymore. So it's like this person is just done. They're done just, just letting themselves be controlled by another, by a situation. It's like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I want to live. I want to be happy. So I really feel like uh, this is the end of stagnation. It's the end of staying put. It's the end of conflict. Somebody is ready. They are really, really, really ready with the Eight of Wands. They are ready. They are ready. They are ready for some excitement, right? They're, and they're going to be taking action. Um, Four of Cups. So this is contemplation. We have an individual that is contemplating. I think this person is going to be offered. This Somebody is coming towards an individual. This is coming towards an individual that doesn't uh, believe. I feel like this person is going to be thinking, you know, wh why are you coming to me now? Why now? Why now? You know, this individual... Um, is getting an offer of love, but isn't so sure about it. Isn't so sure. What are the motives? This may be somebody that, you know, haunted you for a long time. This person let the, was let go, you know. Now this, now this person is coming in really fast. I don't know what I want. This is, I don't know what I want. So this person, we have an individual that has this, somebody coming in, has a new opportunity. This is an offer and an invite messages, uh, emails, something like that. There's messages coming in to this person who is like, you know, I don't know. I don't know if this is the right option for me. I don't know if I want this. Feeling a really, you know, you see the look on her face. It's kind of like, uh huh. You know, when you when you scowl your eyes and you're like, hmm, I don't know if I believe this. What's the motive here? This is what's the motive? What's the motive here? There's, is there some? What is the motive? That's what I feel. What is the motive behind this? So there's 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 contemplation and thinking about why this offer is coming in now. Queen of Swords, investigative investigation. So we have a professional reader here. This person is very well read, has very intelligent, very smart, very wise. She's uh, not somebody to uh, mess with because she has a lot of experience. She's well read. She's she's intelligent. So we have a very intelligent individual here who. Um, is thinking about what she read. She's going to be, the message that she gets is going to really make her think, what is the motive behind this? She's reading something. So we have an individual that is reading something that makes them discontent. It makes them uh think makes them think you know why is this why is this coming to me now this died feels like it died a long time ago 
Magician reversed. Two of Wands reversed. Now this is manipulation, lies, deception. Not qualified, a trickster. We have a trickster here, somebody that is deceptive and unbalanced, arrogant. Somebody is maybe taking action without really thinking. They are, they are definitely taking action without really thinking. It's like they're ready to move forward. They want to move forward. They're moving forward very fast. They may be acting impulsively. They didn't, you know, two of wands reversed suddenly. There's a sudden arrival. I, th I feel like we have a sudden arrival here. Somebody's coming back around. The Eight of Cups reversed. Now, the Eight of Cups reversed. Somebody has been pretending to be happy. They've, they've been in a superficial relationship and staying put. They really have been staying put. It feels like they're waiting. They're, they're, they're coming in very fast with something. Um, it's a definitely a tricky situation. And this person knows it. We have a very wise individual here that knows that this is tricky. This is definitely a tricky situation. They're receiving messages from an individual that they... Um, may have been stuck on in the past because that's the past they were stuck in that situation in the past they broke free from that situation now they're receiving messages from this person all of a sudden she's reading something that makes her think is this worth it what are the motives What are the motives? This person is, whoever is messaging has overwhelming fear and has been in a lot of emotional turmoil and now this person is in emotional turmoil. being held back somebody was held back somebody was held back definitely they were held back by a situation that they were comfortable in they didn't have the resources or they couldn't find the strength or the um, the mental strength or the courage or the resources within them to take action but now they're taking action what the hell Fucking bastards excuse my language um, so, so, so now somebody's, I'm sorry, that wasn't very nice. Anyhow, um, <laughs> and that's totally the Queen of Swords coming out in me, what just happened. I am totally Gemini in more ways than... Taurus. Anyway, um, somebody is is moving very very quickly towards this authentic individual who is very intelligent. She's read something or is reading something that makes her think. There's an offer coming in. There's an offer coming in, but she's not sure if she wants it. This person that is coming in doesn't, isn't, may not be mentally stable. Could have some, some, uh, mental issues. Liar, a manipulator. Didn't plan effectively could be even violent. We could have some we could have a violent person that fights all the time that is coming in.
somebody was choosing a safe, the safe zone. They were stay, choosing the safe life, right? But now they're ready to move forward. They're making an offer to this person that is uh, hard to win over. Okay, it's hard to win over this person. She's been the Queen of Swords is a person that has been through a lot of pain. She she's bitter and she's hard to win over because she's had a hard life. So somebody's trying to win her over. And so she's thinking, she's thinking, is this what I want? Is this what I want? This is a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. This is somebody uh, that doesn't have a lot of resources and may have some maybe a tricky, deceptive situation. Hermit Reverse doesn't want to be alone. Wants to reconnect. And this individual may be going through a midlife crisis and they want to reconnect with somebody um, that they hurt. Maybe they've become enlightened through this time of solitude or whatever it is. Seven of Wands reversed. This individual is disagreeable, has extreme pride. Maybe feeling powerless. Now this is powerless and the magician is powerless. Now this is quitting. Not finding the ability, not finding the ability to fight for something in the past because this goes past to future. So somebody didn't have the resources within them to fight for freedom of a situation or to fight for uh fight for their life, you know, because this is about life, the four of swords reversed. And and when I say fight for your life, I mean, when you're living in a situation where you're confined and it's dark and there's a constant battle and you're walking on eggshells and you're being lied to and you're being deceived and you're being controlled, there's an individual here that's been controlled. They've been under another person's power and control. They have. They have. With the magician reverse and the eight of swords reverse. And if it's not another person, it's their own mind playing tricks on them. Okay? Somebody's, and I hate to say that because, you know, that's narcissist behavior when somebody says your minds are playing tricks on you. So I'm not sure how those words resonate, but there could definitely be a narcissist here. There could be a narcissist here that uh, could ruin, because this is ruin, could ruin another person, could ruin another person. This could be a narcissist coming in really fast. This person intuition may say you know you need to think twice about this you need to think twice about this and she's definitely thinking about it definitely what's up with this what's up with this person all of a sudden and this is definitely all of a sudden there's messages coming in this person wants wants to move very quickly you know so feeling very discontent and um, unsure as to you know why this is happening so I feel like in the next day or so there is, there is somebody that has some tricks up their sleeve that is coming in very, very fast. They are looking to be uh, rescued by the looks of things. I think it's rescued from a deep, dark place that they have been in. They may even have some mental issues. They're looking for supply. That's what I think this is. Um, somebody to take care of them. I think that they have been living in a deep, dark place where, you know, they've been, uh, you know, dealing with a lot of their own demons. They've been fighting a lot with whoever they're with and they're looking for new supply. Good luck.